a research engineer at WSO2. I've always been fascinated in the line of research itself. Um, so there is this kind of like saddening factor uh, called digital divide. So it's the split between those who have access to technology and those who do not have access to technology. So that still sort of exists in some of the communities in Sri Lanka. So I intended on focusing most of my work on that particular area in order to bridge that gap by introducing some of the interactive learning technological models um, in order to like reduce the entire thing. So that is how I basically got into technology in the first place. I work on my YouTube videos. I'm a content creator as well, so I basically spend my entire weekend filming, editing, recording, and besides that, Instagramming. Initially, I was assigned to work on chatbots, so I've been working on incorporating context into chatbot conversations. That turned out to be pretty interesting because I had to query all these uh, random questions into these chatbots, and you get all these what is life sort of responses from these chatbots, and it was pretty interesting. The biggest lesson I've learned is uh, to be open to new ideas. Like, you can't stick to what you already know because learning is not about the destination, it's about uh, the journey itself. So as long as you're willing to learn and you're willing to bring in new ideas into what you already know, I think that's going to lead you towards a better progressive uh, idea of what you already have. So. I think uh, the misconception is not within the girls girls itself, it's, it's basically towards the guys. I, I, I might sound a bit impartial here, but I think they have this sort of like idea that if you're a girl, you have a an extra step to climb there. But it's not the fact. Girls are more willing to learn and they're more willing to insert their time and effort into this. So, as long as you give equal opportunities to both girls and guys, I think you're gonna get the same output. Um, yeah.